Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Okay, I can First things first. Since Sunday, we've seen how is it going? Mm. Since Sunday, we have seen how the UPND operatives, ministers, surrogates of the MPs, like some church. Uh, uh, leaders, uh, particularly uh, Father Mas uh, Reverend Masupa, have gone to condemn Father Sarangeti over the sentiments or the homily that he gave in church on Sunday. We must be fair. I'm repeating. We have seen that the Masupa, now the new Basarogate Minister of Information, Naiwa Mutolo Mutolo Piri, Minister of Agriculture. In this country, we must be fair with one another and consistent. Everybody in this country knows that the Catholic Church stands for nothing but the truth. The Catholic Church have been condemning any government that does something wrong or any government that is not doing as expected. From UNIP, the Catholic Church spoke for injustice. MMD, the Catholic spoke for injustice. PF, the Catholic spoke for injustice. What has changed today? When the Catholic Church was condemning PF, you, the UPN, you were celebrating. When he, uh, 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 Bishop Therese from Tundu was condemning the hills in PF and Catholic priests, you, you PND were celebrating and sending them viral. What has changed today that Father Sarangeti is only advising you that please work on the cost of living and don't give graphs to the people. When the president holds a press briefing, what is expected of the president is to tell the people of Zambia how his government is working to reduce the cost of living or to make their living standards better. But a priest just reminds you that what the people of Zambia want is for you to reduce the cost of living, not giving them graphs. And by the way, graphs are for boardrooms. Graphs are for lecturing. So what is wrong for you to start attacking Father Sarangat? Bama Super Insonia Room 2. When PF was in office, you never used to you used to condemn PF. Today you are praising the, the UPND. Everything they do, you are praising it. Even today, you are in today's newspaper saying President Aga India has done very well. This is what brings people start doubting that really this country is now going through uh, uh, divisions. Because it was Lungu, you used to condemn. Now there is Haka in the Ichilema, you are praising. Let's stop this and unite this country once and for all. When the Catholic Church was pray, was condemning the mistakes of the UPND, the MMD, you, the same UPND, were very happy and praising them. Today you want to condemn the Catholic Church. But I can tell you that you are condemning the Catholic priests and the church at your own peril. Whichever politicians that's casting aspersions on the Catholic Church. He or she is doing it at their own peril, and I'll leave it at that. Coming to the graphs themselves, let's learn to tell the truth. The graphs that President Haga in the HLM was giving were all misused to drive an agenda that is not correct. The president was boasting about uh, the increase in uh, investment pledges. By the way, what are pledges? 
What are investment pledges? Investment pledges are just when an investor says, no, I can come and build a garage in Zambia, I'm going to spend one million. You write it as a pledge. But the president was saying, we have raised five point, is it 8.5 million billion dollars in two years. Are you sure, Mr. President, you've raised that money? Those are mere pledges. Now, to confuse the people, you bring a graph and show. And by the way, when you referred to decreased ple pledges under uh, uh, PF in 2021, 2020, 2019, the country was, I mean, the whole world was grappling with COVID-19. And during that COVID-19, no investor was pledging anything to invest anywhere because people were not sure. The world economy had uh, collapsed. And how did you expect people to be pledging when there was COVID? When companies, mining companies closed all over the world, you expected investors to be pledging? Now because the COVID is over, investors have started pledging, you say it's my good leadership that has caused investors to pledge like that. No, 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 Mr. President. Stop misleading the people. And that is the problem we have with this president. Go to Zimbabwe, the pledges have gone up after COVID. Go to Botswana, the pledges have gone up. Go to all the countries in, around Zambia, pledges have gone up. Is it HH who is president in these countries? Coming to the second uh, graph, where he was showing that... Uh, the economy has now moved from negative to positive. President uh, Akainde Ichilema, in Sonia Wuntu, learned to tell the truth. From 2019 to 2021, all the countries in Africa, all the countries in the world, their GDP growth were in the negative because of COVID. I challenge you to challenge me on this point. Some of the countries went as far as, as negative six growth. South Africa was in the negative. Botswana was in the negative. The only countries that recorded positive growth was 1% China and 1% Ethiopia. So don't tell lies people that because of your good leadership, we are now po recording positive growth on GDP. All the countries that has, had gone negative are now showing positive. And the growth is the same. Look at all the countries around us. They are posting 2 to 3% growth. Are you the president in those countries? So you were misusing the graphs to try and mislead the people. So Sarangate was merely telling you, we don't need graphs. We want the cost of living to go down. The problem we have with this president, Ichile Karipab, and to Wufi, Beyond say when you speak to the people, you think the people are stupid. And that's the problem we have with you. But President, make your Wufi. Stop the power and to Wufi. Positive growth has gone up because COVID is no longer there and all the countries are, posit are posting positive growth. Even Zambia is not excluded. So when you say, I am posting, posting, Zambia is posting positive growth because of your leadership. And stop lying. God bless Zambia. I just want to comment on the issue of Father Anton Salangeta. I am a former Catholic brother. Father Anton Salangeta is in line with the teaching of the Catholic Church. He is in line with the uh, doctrine of the Church. Father Salangeta was ordained to speak for the poor people. He was ordained to speak for the voices. So I call upon the Catholic uh, Catholics here in Zambia to defend and protect Father Anton Salangeta, who will not tolerate this kind of intimidation and nonsense. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.